Hello and Grüß Gott. This video is brought to you by Auto Parts Warehouse. Today I'm going to install a Fram Fresh Breeze cabin filter on my 2008 Suzuki Grand Vitara. Almost all cabin filters are located behind the glove box and so to get to them in most cases you have to access it by removing the glove box door. The only things you'll need to know is um, what kind of filter you need. You'll need a disposal bag perhaps a screwdriver and maybe a couple of other tools depending on the model. And then you can make a strip of paper like this so you can detect airflow because you're going to put the filter in and it's going to have a flow direction to it. You are also going to wear safety glasses to prevent any kind of eye injury. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this screw out and I'm going to take this door off. So I'm going to take this off, pull the mechanism out of the way and I'll pop the door off and I'll show you that here in a second. Okay, I've taken the door, um, the uh, glove box door dampener loose. And now on this one, all you do is gently pull in the sides, not too far. And it allows you to take the whole door off. It has these little side mechanisms, a little hinge here. And what we're going to do is gain access in here for the filter. So to do that, on this particular model, it has little clips on each side that are real easy to remove. You just kind of pull on them gently and this whole thing comes right off and that gives you access to the filter inside so the filter is right here it's quite dirty it's about a year old I wrote down the mileage and when I last changed it which was 0413 so it's about due so um, I'm going to check the direction and put the new filter in and I'll do that here in a second Okay, in order to check the direction of flow, I'm going to take my little gizmo I made and I'm going to put it in here. And the flow is definitely going down. So I want to make sure I put my filter so that the flow goes down. So I'm going to do that here and I'll be right back. If you look at here on the side of the air filter, it shows direction of airflow. And we determine the airflow is down. So we know this filter goes in like this with a light part facing up and the carbon impregnated part facing down. I also put the mileage and date on here. So I'm just gonna slide this in here and I'll reinstall the little door and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my filter all the way placed in and now I'm going to put my door on and it just sort of snaps into place quite easily on each side. So I'm gonna do that just like that. Snaps right in. Then I'm going to take the glove box and put it on these hinges. Push in on the sides as I pull it up. Now it's latched in. So now I'm going to take the damper that's back here and reattach it to the side. And so I'll do that and then I'm going to write into the manual the date and the mileage that I changed it. And that's all there is to it. Then you're done. So thanks for watching and again thanks to Auto Parts Warehouse. Tschüss.